Hi, my name's Sophia. Welcome to this Tower Love Reading. Welcome to the New Earth community. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. So <clears throat> I'm going to jump in straight away, unless I get any downloads. Um, anyway, so just a couple of things. First of all, um, there's going to be an offer. Look for it in the Facebook group, free image readings. Yes. Obviously, they're going to be mini. They're not going to be like 40, 50 minutes long. We normally do readings and image readings until we like feel to stop it's not timed tower readings are more different but it's actual the bigger cost free image readings which you will get in the facebook group um so everyone will be doing that apart from me and david but everyone else up on this community will be doing free um image readings uh for uh, i think till the end of this month so obviously you need to be joined the group the group's in the description box Diesel also is offering that free service on her WhatsApp group. So you can join that as well. Everything's in the description box. Um, also, uh, David's going to do more talk videos for you to have more, you know, kind of answers from the masculine perspective. I call it how men tick. But um, I want to do a video with him about depression. And I feel that's very important because not only so that you... Um, a big element of how I deal with the Twin Flame journey is because I have empathy and understanding about how he is. And most people on planet Earth are depressed, right? And especially when um, their situations, even if they don't have it in their family, such as David is uh, a common trait in his family, but... Uh, a highly stressful job, a highly stressful situation can trigger depression. So that's why I, uh, I'm going to do a talk video with David about that. And not only so you understand your masculine's perspective, right? Uh, because a, a lot of the ghosting and the pulling back and that is because of depression, stress. So they just duck out of situations, right? Because it's too stressful to deal with. And what you would put on them, those conditions and, and restrictions is too stressful. So they just duck out. So that's one reason. So if you understand it, then that will be a good um, thing for you to uh, know about your person. But also a lot of you are depressed and you don't even fucking know it. <laughs> right. So that's a look out for that video to come. So let's uh, jump in. Oh, um, depends when you see this video. Uh, David's going to do tower reading next. So look out for that. <clears throat> um, I was saying depends because I think it's today he's going to do it. So mm, what's failed? <laughs> um, so you might get his video before me is what I'm trying to before this one. It depends. <clears throat> and like I said, I don't pinpoint specific dates. I never say, I'm always saying to David, when are you, when can we meet? And that's once again connected with um, making it less stressful for him, right? Considering the depression. I don't really think that I noticed that I was doing it because of his depression, but it does help the situation, right? And they might not even know that they have that, right? But you know, if we do a video talking about it, then you'll think, shit, my person maybe is depressed. I've got to make this clear. This is not for you to then go and tell your person when we do this talk video, oh, uh, Sophia and David have done a video and you're depressed, or I've heard the information you're depressed. It's not about that. You may mention it, but there's no point going into deep details and blah, blah, blah. Right, let's get into your, what, what's felt? Something's felt here. So let's pull some cards on what the situation is. What's going on with you lot? Oh, something's definitely not fear. Ten of swords and seven of swords? So you manifested it though. Ten of swords, seven of swords. Why do they? You're out in the cold. And there's a reason why you're out in the cold because of your actions. Mm. 
So Ten of Swords is someone that you've, something has happened that someone stabbed you in the back, you know, literally that kind of thing that, you know, is really bad, that something maybe was said, people were talking about you, it's something like that. It's quite a bad situation with Seven of Swords underneath it. Um, let me see what this is about. Because Three of Swords isn't here. So don't feel it's connected with your person. So it's either your actions or the actions of someone. Now, I was going to say the action of someone connected to you or your person. Now, just let's not jump the boat and go straight on to it's your person yet. <laughs> but there's something here. Um... King of Wands, Knight of Swords. There's arguments. This is hit. It's fucking hidden. There's something here. This is a... I feel it's... Uh, there's two scenarios I'm getting. I'm getting a few downloads, so bear with. So there's two scenarios. Uh, maybe none of them will resonate. Maybe both of them will resonate. Well, the first situation is a, a, a karmic jealous, jealous ex. And it's like they're conjuring something together because the magician card is here. I'll show you the cards. It doesn't really matter right here. Because <laughs> I don't normally read them in it on the channel message more like, but I show you them, especially if they're relevant. It's something to do with an ex is... Hold on. I'm getting going to. So this is going to happen. Uh, unless it is already. Going to create something that. Creates a ten of swords. It's. Wow. Why am I. It's not what, it's like, I, I'm sorry, there's something like you're um, getting the loads of different things. It's not connected to the cards, you see. So it's channeled and cards reading. So I'm kind of putting it together. So Ten of Swords, there's something here that, why isn't she here then? Ah, is someone's going around the houses to create some gossip or drama that is connected to your person that is, going to try to get your person away from you it's indirect bullshit but how i'm seeing it is that it backs it backfires because what happens is your person finds out or sees them for who they really are so this is something divine that's coming in so if you have for example, uh, a, your person is connected to a nightmare situation, a shitty job, family that are really bad or bad, you know, ex-partner, uh, baby's mum, baby's dad. They're, it's like they know about you. I feel it leads to him or her, your person. Oh, okay. So I've been saying, it depends how you follow, uh, how long you've been following me, that it's like the, this year is make or break. This year is a funny year. It's kind of a, a five of your swords, seven of swords. You've got to be ruthless. You go for what you want. And I feel that they're really pushing uh, starseed light workers, twin flames to be in union with their person their counterpart, because when you have someone who has your back then you feel like you can, you know master all verses of reality so there's something here with they're really making things come into your awareness and more so with your person this reading so that they come away from that toxic thing because you can't, he or she's not seeing it clearly so they're going to make something that blows up 
so that they it's like they have to face it they have to face it this is like it could be as big as this but this is a different example of it say you have a child who unfortunately gets into cocaine and you think oh that i went out with someone who was on cocaine and his parents were blatantly ignoring it how i saw it they were enabling him to have it right and i just had to say it and uh, you know i weren't as fresh as what i am now i had to say um you know your son's on cocaine and he said to me he's like yeah it's a stage he went through and he you know he hanged out with some friends and he's just one of those that's just struggling to get off it from when he was going out with the lads drinking doing drugs he's just you know taking his time to come off it i didn't carry on but that was brave of me to even address it to the dad in the first place right I'm like, fuck no, that guy was hardcore and he probably still is on it and he's probably still watching me. <laughs> anyway, my point is, is that that's that. This is um, not seeing something, right? Which is, this is your person, right? If this doesn't connect, this ain't your reading. This is your person connected with a nightmare situation, but knowing it's a nightmare, but not confronting it now for them not to confront it because the alternative with the dad situation was to kick his son out and he didn't want to do that right but there's something here because obviously there's something why they're choosing to ignore a, 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 a very bad situation situation karmic tie ten of swords seven of swords but it's like they're going it's to do with family it's to do with something to do with Mom, dad, or, you know, kids, family, even if it's work. Well, I've got to work and the boss is treating me like a cunt, but I've got to pay the mortgage for the family or some connection here that creates a lot of arguments. But I feel that the universe is putting it to a close. It's like, for example, I'll go back because I, I can't pinpoint the specifics of this situation because it's different to all of you so i'll go back to my cocaine example this is like so you have a child with cocaine and they overdose and they like seconds they could have died so there's something that confronts them that they're like i have to deal with this that's what i feel but it's it's weird because i feel it's coming <laughs> because the magician cards here a magician is manifesting. It's like, I feel like it's gathering together for so something to happen. And this is the part of it. So that this, I've been saying from December, January, like I said, new year, right? They're conjuring upstairs, right? Planets, the, the, the you know, twin flame contract. I channel from the 5D round table, right? I, think I call it, it's probably a proper galactical name, which I can't, the federation some shit shit but i can't remember all the names and they know that right but i definitely channel from uh the 5d it's it's like you know you have a meeting about i don't know staff then you have a meeting about you know the accounts and you have a meeting about blah upstairs they have meetings right planets get together you see it in the marvel and all the, the superhero films and they have uh, meetings about uh planet earth being corrupted corrupted because it is it's dark right being taken over which it is and it's like um and people there's a few meetings about it but a part of the um how to help this planet to come out of this corruption is the twin flame right 5d uh contract they call it right well actually it's the twin flame corrected me why i don't know why the 5d experience free will experience okay right okay so anyway so that's where i channel so when they get together to talk about the twin flame experience and the twin flames and stuff like that and what they're guided to do so all entities all planets uh join into them well it's not all of them but the main it's like the films the main captains of each solar system each planetary meet up into one planet and talk about it and it's normally andromedans because they're the widest of the whites 
then I have the round table around the Andromedans from each, I don't know why I'm going to this, all these other planets that come into Andromeda, right? And then they channel to me the conclusion or some shit like that, right? And it's not even they, it's one entity, which is the same entity, and they told me her name, but it was, it was, it sounded quite, I didn't like how it sounds, as you can tell from my face. Anyway, she's half alien, half She's actually alien. They don't put it fully alien because it said it will freak me out because I'm a pussy with horror movies and looking at stuff like that. So they make her half alien, but her bottom half is still alien. So I'm like, can't you make her into a, a fool? So the top of her, she looks human. Anyway, so she channels to me about the actual contract. Now, why am I going into that? Because I said that they, it's actually one woman from the information from the federal gal galactic of the twin flame contract. So what's going on now is they're trying to push you into union. So this separation, and I've been saying this for months, that the, the masculines are coming away from the karmics, whatever that version of the karmic is to you. So if your karmic is a 3D job, normally it's three. Don't kid yourself because people are like, oh, you know, I, I, uh, my person hasn't got a third party. I've probably had two readings, maybe one, when they actually haven't had a third party, right? Majority, there's someone else they're connected to. So, uh, uh, so baby's mum, baby's dad, family, work, friends, drugs, stuff like that. So whatever that third party is, it's like it's blowing up here. And it's not the tower because it's not a blow up like that. This is um, so they face how bad that situation is. That's what's going on here. Let me see because I've got the four of cups here. So the seven of swords, it's mirror. It's going to, yeah, it's actually a mirror to them of how bad it is. So it's not actually about you, but obviously it's readings for you. So, right, you need to know what's the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here? They're unhappy because four of cups is dissatisfied, right? Oh, right. Okay. So they're unhappy with the situation, which you know, with the third party, but they just don't stay there. They stay connected with it for whatever reason right um the fourth cups to me i feel they're gonna pick their cup this is about focusing on you i would say that i don't want to really say that but you know david chose me because i choose myself i don't know how else to say it where well, maybe other relationships i don't really ask him but other relationships kind of like rely on him or you know have an expectation of him even though i do kind of but not as to the degree of what others do you know we should live together married you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be uh, uh, hanging out you shouldn't be uh doing this kind of whatever he does you see there's there's that and it's like I, i'm like yeah if david does that that's up to him isn't it I, i've got to do my shit right as long as it doesn't affect to me right it doesn't affect me what he generally does but the others are like oh well, you shouldn't do this because it's bad for you because you shouldn't be doing that because of it's like is it affecting you actually right what david does doesn't really affect me like he might have five kids and all his time and his money really goes to the five kids but not necessarily because um i don't have kids with him and i chose not to have kids with him so I'm like, so if his money goes on, like, say he goes out every weekend with the lads, it's not my business what he's spending his money on because the but he's always done what he's done. I hope this makes sense. There's something here like this, meaning that it's connected with you as well. How it was once again, perception. That's why David's here to talk about perception. Say you're moaning in that, but most of you don't. But say you're moaning about your twin flame that says he hasn't got time for you, but goes out every week with the lads and gets drunk, right? And you're like, so you're trying to stop him from drinking, going to see the friends, the friends ain't no good, blah, 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 because it affects you because he don't see you, right? But this is how I see it. It's like, okay, well, that, that's what they've always done, right? So you work around it and, you, you know, so he will feel like, okay, well, 
I want to spend time with you instead of you demanding him not to see this and do this situation. You are here to influence them and not even intentionally influence them. Like, for example, like I said, we're going to talk about depression. Now, uh, less stress situations help. And I always say I love just chilling with David, right? I just love just chilling with him. That's a less stressful situation. So I wasn't intentionally doing things. So you're supposed to just want to, and I'm like, you just chill with your person and, and just do nothingness. Just do nothingness. Because they've already got that expectation that over there, stressing, blah, 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 over there. And why I'm talking about you and this situation is a lot, like I said, I'm getting a lot of things here. I took a day off, that's probably why. Um, I didn't post it the weekend is because this is the time that they're coming away from the third party so they should be coming towards you but are you going to then take over this ten of swords situation to this expectation of okay now you've left the third party now let's get married now let's live together now you should be up on youtube with me like other twin flames now you should be doing this now you should be doing like that are you going to be the same thing that's why i'm getting this because they're supposed to be now seeing your gift so if they don't come towards you and they come away from the third party, and I've been saying this, like I said, for months, that they're going to go somewhere else. Meaning, like, it doesn't mean that they're going to live with you. Like David says that he's flat. Um, he's in a flat and there's people on top of him and he's like, they're always banging because they've got a lino flooring. And the... The guy keeps saying he's going to put carpet on the upstairs and they don't do it. So I said to him, listen, right, maybe you should just move again. I know it's a lot. I know you've got a load of shit, right, gadgets, fuck's sake. But it's not healthy and you're always t working 12 hours, 12 hours. So when you need to sleep, you need to sleep. It's not like they can bang and you can get up and sleep later because you're on this schedule of work. My point is why I'm saying that. I never said, well, you can live with me, right? I said, look, you know, when you're ready to do that, I'll help you look for somewhere else to live. Do you see what I mean? Still, the, he knows the door's open. I don't have to say it to him all the time. If he wants to come here, when he's ready, he'll tell me. But that's what this is. And you see, so he might move into another area. Who cares? right? It doesn't matter to me, right? He does what he has to do. My main thing and such should be yours, you know, are you loving with conditions? And that's unconditional. You need to be in unconditional love. And that's what this is about. You know, spiritual leaders and spiritual is about unconditional love, but you're always placing conditions on your person. And we are here Alien means different. You're an alien, you're a star seed, a seed from a star, which is alien, right? So alien means different. So why are you following the 3D norms of marriage, kids, and thing? I was talking to David about marriage. I actually asked him yesterday, do you want to get married? But still, did I say, do you want to get married to me, David? No, I said, do you even want to get married? I've never really asked you. And surprisingly, he said, I just, I'm one of those that don't believe in the paper. What is it? You know, uh, what a, it's a piece of paper. I didn't expect him to say that. And I said, oh, we're kind of on the same boat because I don't want, I, what, I love to get married, but I am not getting into that institution. I'm not letting them put my name into the system of me and you doing this. No. So I don't know. That's why I would, that's why we don't talk about it because if I have, I love to wear the dress and just someone there, Quan, you know, you two are married now. Something like that. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Nothing to do with the intuition, the system, signing the registry. Fuck off. I'm like, but he sees it kind of like me, but different. And what I'm trying to say is, 
are very independent and I stick to my values and my ways of doing things. Yours is more 3D. With this reading is that you have to be more open to more doing things that are more different. Like I said, my way is different and not following the norm. If you're any sort of following the norm, then you're not alien. You're not on your starseed light worker track. Many, many spiritual leaders think they're up on YouTube and they're talking about, you know, the virus and, and the aliens and the darkness and the elite secret society, spirituality, health, whatever, right? But they're still the same. Loads of people are doing that, right? How are they different than any other spiritual person? You are here being different. 100%. This community is different. Even David, like I say, you're different. You're 3D. He's sitting, literally, his videos you're watching, he's at his security job, right? Not at home, next to me. He's doing it by himself at his security job, right? That's what I'm saying. And that's the majority of your person. So this is about there's something manifesting, which is a constant argument with the Knight of Swords, which will end all of this. Because Ten of Swords is an ending. It's a shitty ending, but it's an ending after all. But it will show into light how this is about being left out in the cold. Seven of Swords. Look, both of these are shitty blue cards, right? Being left out in the cold. And how that person is. It's like I said with this, this scenario with the kids, we, 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 you have a child with cocaine. And it's like you're enabling it because you don't want to kick your person, your son or your child out or whatever. But you're still, it's still shit, <laughs> right? It's still shit being around someone with cocaine. It's still shit. So it's like, uh, let's deal with the worst version of this and end it. That's this, what's coming. The situation is still shit, but we need to end it and close it out. There's too many lies. There's too many deception. There's too many arguments. And like I said, the universe, because it's as above, that's why I was like tapping in a bit to them lot upstairs with this reading, right? It's that like, they're making it clear because the, the magician is the conduit. That's why I was getting the channeled message. Not the high priestess, not the empress. The magician is the channeler, right? So that's why I was channeling, right? They're channeling to me. They are manifesting something into the reality to end. It's like... The drama, the main drama, right, with your person is ending out. But like I said, you're not here, but you literally are because with the four of cups, can you see that cup with the and the clouds, not the three? It's ending out this third party, but the cup here, sorry, I can't anyway, right, is you. You're the gift, right, because it's the gift from the universe. The hand from God, you're from upstairs, right? Like I said, we're doing 3D bullshit, marriage, kids and house and picket fence. What the fuck? You're the gift from upstairs, the gift from God, the hat from the clouds, right? So you're supposed to be doing stuff from up there. That's coming in that is sorting out this 3D bullshit. So then you should be cool with your person. Because if then, like I said... Then they should literally come towards you. It doesn't mean, like I gave my example with David, David's going to move. It's not going to be soon. He's like, you know, well, I just mentioned it to him only yesterday. But what I'm saying, if he moves at all. But like I said, it's still just going to be like with you and still being around with you without that 3D drama. But if they're not connected with you or they're not coming towards you and it's still drama, that's your own drama. They're defining the drama. Does you blame the drama? For, Ew, he's a fucking nightmare because of baby's mum, because he works for me now, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, Nancy, what we're going to do, Nancy, is we're going to remove the three third-party bullshit, and you watch, there's still going to be arguments. You're still going to manifest arguments, and it's going to be your arguments because you're too 3D. That's this 3D. Do we need clarity? These aren't really clarity. Is there anything else I want to say? Oh, come on, man. What the fuck? I'll get two more. Ah. <laughs> uh...
believe it or not, I'm trying not to swear on my channel. I keep forgetting. <laughs> ten of swords, ten of swords. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Ten of swords twice. I've never had that. Never. And the seven of swords. Whoa, something's coming, man. And why I was like, oh, I see, I get it. This is about them. There's someone, wow, this is the third party, big time coming to light. It's something about they just using your person for his money, for her money. And they're holding on to them from leaving that is that it's, it's kind of like my situation. That's why I know my daughter's situation is relevant or part of my journey as a twin flame. My ex-husband, when I separated from him, and that's another thing why I don't want to get married. I fucking gave that guy everything when we separated because I knew I could build myself. When you're an entrepreneur, you can build up, you know, a true entrepreneur, you can build anything, right? So I said, I'll oh, just take all the business, take the house, take the car, take everything, right? I didn't care. And I started again. And I'm still doing more successful than him because I knew I would. So I didn't care about giving it to him. Still took five years to divorce him. Why? That's why there would have been a system. Stupid bullshit legal. I'm like, why? There was nothing to separate. There was nothing like, let you have the microwave and I'll have the, the washing machine. I was like, you take it all. And the reason why I said take it all, because he had my daughter. If it was like no daughter involved, fuck off, I'll be fighting in court. <laughs> but I was like, take it. I don't want nothing for her not to have a life. Yeah, me and Kwan didn't have nothing, but I knew we was going to be more successful. Kwan knew that. He was in boarding school anyway. And my point is here is that that's why I'm saying her is because he took everything. And there's something here that your person is not seeing that they're just taking, taking, taking. And even though I gave him the house, the car, the everything, my business, the holiday home, everything, he still wanted me to continually, he had that tie of me to stay in the business. Because it's okay saying to someone, you can have a business, but without me running the fuck up, he knew he would be running to the ground. He still had me with that tie. And there's something here that your person is tied financially to your person. It's got them by the balls. Just like my ex had me by the balls. I don't feel they're going to be in a situation where, like me with my daughter, that they lose out on their children or anything like that. Right? But it's like they're going to see something clearly. Something's going to, ten of swords twice, yeah, they're going to see it clear. And they're going to see the manipulation clearly. Like, people told me my ex-husband was a nightmare. And I ignored it, Right? Now I'm reflecting, yes, he was. When I went to court and he was lie after lie after lie, right? I never saw that. He could have been lying behind my back. But in court, he was like, yeah, she smokes drugs and she, 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 she's whoring and she's doing this. and she's do I could hear it from his mouth. There's something like that that's happening. So they can, what the fuck? You're actually that bad. They're going to cut that. They're going to cut this off. Big time. Big time. And this is also to do with, um, yeah, because if they, like I was saying with my daughter's dad example, my ex-husband, he just wouldn't let me go. And it's not literally like, he didn't care if I was dating someone. He just wouldn't let me go with that business. Soon as I said no, and I started this community, soon as I said no, he took her, he took her from me. 11 years I had that tie with him, 11, and he took he took her from me. That wasn't still enough for the court. I had evidence of it. It wasn't enough. But they, there's something that they're holding on to them, which is selfish with the nine of cups, right? They're being selfish. They're being greedy. There wasn't, like I said, with my ex-husband. He had enough, but he still wanted more. And there's something that they keep pulling on your person, like the third party, you think of what it is to you, that is now, now making them, stopping them from going for their wish granted. Now, you are generally, because nine of cups, the next cup is you. One cup, that's you, right? Leads to the ten of cups. But like I said, if you're over there with the set, after this big blow up here that's coming, ten of swords, ten of swords, seven of swords, and you're still like, oh, okay, that's done. Well, now we can get married. We can, And they've just come out of this. You see why they're going to be like, no, fuck off, cunty. I'm over here on my jack-jack. They're going to go in their own direction. 
I don't feel they're going to get someone else. That might come up in two, three months. I don't know. But now I'm not feeling your person's going to go for another person. And I tell you why I'm not feeling they're going for someone else is because then you'll come back and say, see, this new one that my, my twin flame Scotty is with, this Sarah Louise is a fucking nightmare now. I, I think this is design, destiny, so that you will see, look, they're over there on the Jack Jones doing perfectly well. Why aren't you with them? Because it's your ass, right? Because it's you. So you recognize it. Because that this this year is it's it's kind of a funny year to me. It's like they're being ruthless. Planets are being ruthless, ten of swords, ten of swords here. Being ruthless so that to, to make you see things clearly. Because other people, the spiritual bullshit, no negativity, please. No negative thoughts. Turn the other cheek. What the fuck? How are you supposed to deal with shit? How are you supposed to? This is the lowest condensed planet out of all planets. There's, there's, there's a lot of negative, let alone how it's been taken over negative. You're just going to ignore it. Watch your words. Now, to me, what what I'm getting with this one is about, um, say your person um, comes to you and says, this is blown up, this has happened. You'll be like, see, I fucking told you. Right? I told you, Sarah, it was a nightmare. No, you shut your flapping your gums. That's one. The other thing is, watch your words is about, like I say, when your person does come away from that situation, now, don't, this is not the time after coming out of this to then say, okay, well, you can come live with me now then. And with your expectations, you're this and you're that. You should be doing this now then. You should be doing that. Like, if you follow me, I, I'm always saying, I always ask David it's two things. How's you, right? Politeness, right? And uh, when am I going to see your ass? That's it. When am I going to see your fine ass, David? When am I going to see your fine ass, David? When am I going to see a fine ass, David? That's all I say. Not, oh, I'm free Saturday. Are you free? Not, oh, I've only saw you like uh, uh, a week ago. Can I see you again? Right? I literally, I would even say on the same night, right? When am I going to see you? I put it in it. Same thing, I'll, all I say. Right? And it depends on him. He comes back and tells me when he's free. But because I'm an entrepreneur and I'm independent and I'm not stuck into the 3D, I can work around him and it's never an issue. If there's an issue, then you're in the 3D and you're entrapped, you're enslaved, you're plugged into the matrix. Your person should be able to tell you when they can see you and you should be able to work around it. Period. Period. If not, you're plugged into and you're enslaved and you're, you're not free. Or, or what, if you go, oh, I've got kids. Well, all these friends and family that you keep saying, these spiritual people that you're holding on to, that are oh, helping me. Oh, can't they have the kids? Massive lesson. And I, I say this is for your person, but there's a massive lesson coming for you. It's probably why Ten of Swords is twice. Ten of Swords for your person, but Ten of Swords for your ass. When he goes, she goes over there by the Jack Jam. So you go, well, why aren't you coming with me then? Because you ain't got babies, mum. You ain't talking to babies, mum. You cut them off. You've left that job, right? Why aren't they coming to you, would you? That's what this is. I do see twin flame signs. I keep getting that one. I don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe because of, like I said, this twin flame contract is, is, is kicking the twin flames' asses. Uh, I wouldn't know because of I, mine is still cool. I'll go and see David tomorrow and just spoke to him on the phone. Uh, I choose you. This is about them. Well, actually, it's about you choosing yourself. If they choose themselves, that is them choosing you. If you choose yourself, like I said earlier in this reading, with David, uh, it's not that I choose him, although I do, but I choose myself. And he chooses me because I choose myself. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said to you. I thought this is separate. So if this blows up, like I said, with what's your words, you might say to them, fuck off, I don't want to know. Last time I spoke to you, Mr. Cunty, you told me to go fuck myself. So I don't care if you've had a ten of swords situation with your, with your third party. I don't want to know. This is about watching your words, right? 
all right so that's it uh, check out the facebook like i said free mini readings um like i said next i don't know what david's going to do next i presume it's going to be a tower reading i can't can't wait to see it as well actually and uh oh lastly the health thing he does um he'll chuck in the free health program he forgot to mention it in his talk video but you get the free my my free health program which is all about the food then he'll teach you about the fitness so you get double bubble right with it so that's it speak to you later